Slack Attack. Oh yeah, my name is Major Slack, and thanks for joining me again. Let's do some more Dawn Guard. Here we are in the Fort Dawn Guard, and let's do a series of side quests, which we, which will earn us, reward us with a whole bunch of upgraded crossbows. There's six of them. Six of these side quests. They're all called Ancient Technology. Kick these off by. By hold still there, Serene. Where are you going? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah okay. here we go. Like okay. This run is done with the place. It's good to see someone else who's really prepared. That's yeah, nice, nice, nice. Okay, so access her like um, dialogue inventory here, go right down to the bottom, and ask her, "What can I do to help?" I want to add some punch to our crossbow capabilities. I've done all I can on my own. I need a little inspiration. I've always been fascinated with Dwemer artifacts. I take them apart, poke around in their guts, and try to figure things out. With mixed results but as luck would have it I've tracked down the location of some actual Dwemer diagram drawings so if you'd be a deer and collect those plans for me no problem just stop talking at a girl <laughs> okay so we've been sent to here we go this is the name of the quest ancient technology and the six side quests they're all called the same thing ancient technology okay and you get sent to a random location. This time I'm being sent to Bile Gulch Mine. All right, but this is completely random, so this may be different for you. But this time we're being sent to Bile Gulch Mine, and we have to collect the schematic for the enhanced crossbow, which um, ignores, I believe, 30% of the armor or 50% of the enemy's armor, something like that. Anyways, I'm not going to make any of these until we get to the top level crossbow, which is the enhanced dwarven crossbow. Because the first time I did this, I kept making, you know, making the crossbows as they became available and then improving them and then enchanting them and then there's a better one coming along and, okay, so it's just going to wait till we get the, you know, the best one and then we're going to start, you know, we'll, we'll make it, alright, because they're going to go through all six quests, okay? Starting off with, as I said, Biogulch Mine, tell us where this is, Mr. Map, Mr. Map says is way over here in the reach I believe this is called the reach and our closest destination discovered location rather is Jukar's monument let's go there now all right now there may be some vampire activity here gear up there Mary gear up saddle up lock and load we're in enemy territory now all right very good Point ourselves at the destination and I hold frost it away. Okay, now this is kind of a little difficult to get to. Oh, we got a nice clear map. Good. Okay, here's what we have to do. We're gonna have to go up here and along there and double back there like that. Okay, so let's just kind of put a marker there for starters. Hang on. Yeah, I want to go. I might even have to go around. Let me take a look here. Yeah, we're going to have to go around. It's playing Skyrim um, on a buddy's at a buddy's place the other day on his PS4 and I was just first time I've done this eh? I was astonished at how much control you guys have over the map it's like you can zoom way in and way out and you know and like spin it around like I mean on the PC version it sucks so people talk about the PC master race that was that's one thing that you guys got got it all over us control over the map. I was like, wow, you can zoom in that close? Like, spin it around, and it was like, you know, it was drooling looking at that. Okay, here we go. Go forward a bit, and then... Up here? Yeah, that looks good. By the way, I'm just quoting other people with regards to the PC Master Race. That's not me. 
That's not my style. What do we got here? Just ignore it, Slack. Stick with the plan. Okay, let's put a new two new marker right there. This is where we have to go. Yep. Very good. Here it is. Okay. Off you go, horsey. Thanks for the ride. Let's hunker down. Get muffled. Get invisible. Chicken chick quick save. Let's get whacking. Three bandits in the exterior. It should be no problem as long as our cover isn't blown. Let's just go here to open the gate. Should be one just got just inside the gate here. Hi there. Okay, now, I just want to take the high ground to take a look at the place here. Okay, we got another guy up there. Always take the high ground. Whenever you can. Okay, here we go. And who's your daddy? Should be one more more guy over here. There he is. You're not looting, Slack. Yeah, yeah. Jeez, I got forty-one thousand gold, and I, you know, I don't need anything. Don't buy me anything for Christmas. I don't need anything. Okay. Dude, <laughs> he looks anyways. I couldn't help myself. Okay, and yeah, I don't want to know any other stuff. Orcus great sword, whatever. Okay, we're just here after one thing. Okay, now every time you get sent to a location, you're gonna have to find a big chest. What's typically known as the boss level chest, and that's where the schematic is always in a big chest. And I'll show you where it is in Bile Gulch Mine, just in case you through some sheer blind luck happen to get the same location as me. It's right there. Alright, now it's an expert lock chest. But there's a bandit boss down here who's got the key. So if you don't feel like picking the lock, just wait for him to come out. There he is right there. Get muffled again. Muffled. Invisibility. Should have known she was lying. Said she'd wait for me, but they never. Bitch, bitch, bitch. And that's what I'm talking about. What do you got on you? A dwarven shield. What the hell? Take the key, the gold. Let's take everything. What the hell? Opens the upsy, and there is our schematic. Thank you very much. And I want all the dwemer pieces because later on we want to make some dwemer or some dwarven bolts. So every time you hit one of these places, if you see any Dwemer metal pieces, grab them. So that you're going to have like lots of Dwarven metal ingots at the end. So you can make a ton of bolts. Dwarven metal bolts. Let's just take a look around here. I didn't bother to do this in practice runs. 
I believe we already have that book. I think that's a enchanting book. And this is an Orichalcum mine. I believe there's nine nine ore veins in here. This is a pretty good mine. But we got everything we need. That's it. Let's boogie. And get on back to Serene. There you go, what did I tell you? See, once they start building up the fort, the fast travel point drops you off of the front door, which is a lot better. Okay, Mary, get in your civvies. We're in town again. Let's go talk to Serene. You're getting along with Isron. He takes some getting used to. Okay. I like what Isron has done with the place. It's good to see someone else who's really prepared. Hey, guess what? I'm back from Bio Gulch Mine with the enhanced crossbow schematic. How about that? You're back and alive to boot. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> hmm. I see. Clever dwarves. Clever. With a similar technique and a little tinkering, I should be able to improve the capabilities of our crossbows. Okay. I often wonder where we'd be if the Dwemer were still around. Oh well. We'll have to manage with the scraps we find. Here, let me show you how it's made. Assuming you have the smithing skills, you should be able to make this yourself at Gunmar's Forge. Either way, I'll have some for sale soon. Okay, now, she just gave us something pretty good. All right. Let me see if this is like an ebony something or other. An ebony armor of eminent knight. Wow. Cool. That's worth a lot. Okay, and to get the second mission, or any following missions, just keep asking her the same question what can I do to help? I've got more leads on additional Dwemer plans. Those last ones helped me immensely. If you could collect this one for me, it's sure to result in extraordinary success. All right, so Until now, um, here we go. Ancient technology. Retrieve the Dwemer exploding fireball schematic from Kraldol's house. Can do. Okay, and we can now forge. If you have the steel smithing perk, you can forge enhanced crossbows. Just go down to steel. There you go, enhanced crossbows, and assuming you have all the materials. Requires no. a normal crossbow. Avoid, okay, that's why I had you collect all those crossbows in the beginning, an and a couple of yeah. corundum ingots. So if you got that, you can make an enhanced crossbow. And attacks with the enhanced crossbow ignore 50% of armor. Can you enchant these? Yes. Can you improve them? Yes. You can improve them and you can enchant them. Uh, but when you do enchant them, be advised that the enchantment won't show in the description because this description here will always block it out. But you can enchant enhanced crossbows. All right. And like I said, I'm gonna hold off on that until we get the top level dwarven enhanced crossbow. All right. So that's that. That's it for this video. Coming up next, we'll do the part two of ancient technology. Let's just get outside into the light of day. And we are done here. I want to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, hey, you know what to do. That's right. Like, fave, comment, and subscribe to my channel to get all my videos hot off the press. All right. See you next video.